Hello everyone, I'm SP, and welcome back to another riveting episode of I Love TCAP. Can you believe we made it to episode 12? Neither can I. Today we're delving into one of the most mm, animated characters on this show, uh, David Schumacher. Uh, he's got a lot of personality, and so covering him is going to be quite the roller coaster. The kind of human behavior that makes you question, you know, our existence, our life, you know, uh, reality itself, etc. So buckle up, hit that like button, smack the sub button, and if you haven't seen the rest of my episodes, there is a playlist with them all wrapped up in a nice bow. So uh, let's let the predator unraveling begin. Spin on it, twist on it, suck on it, spit on it. All right, let's watch. Now, if you guys hear a sound in the background, that might be my bunny. Uh, just munching away. I feed him when I I feed him when I make videos. So and he likes to throw his bowl. I don't understand why he does it when he eats, but he does it. So you might hear some shuffling of the food. Ignore it. Just ignore it. Now this should be the raw tapes. So it's probably gonna be a lot, you know, less stuff going on. Or I may have started the wrong one. Man, listen, am I being held up here? <laughs> You're not being held. Let's <laughs> start over. Yeah, it's just David Schumacher. Epic. Epic wannabe. <laughs> wearing Echo Unlimited. Do you remember Echo Unlimited? I remember people wearing those oversized, colorful, ugly ass shirts. I never wore Echo Unlimited, but my older brother did because my mom told him to wear it. Oh man, fashion in the 2000s. Fashion in the 90s was okay. Fashion nowadays is was like the 2010s to nowadays is okay. But like the 20 the 2000s fashion was just terrible. Knock knock. Hey, come on in. I got my sister and some babies out in the car too though. Oh yeah. Did you bring some green? No, we're going to smoke some though when we get some. Now, he said he had his sister and babies in the car, so I don't think he was planning on having sex with her right away, and he was actually going to take her to a party, but that's weird, because they planned to have sex. They didn't plan to go to a party, from what I've heard. I never I had never read the, uh, the chat logs, but like, he had, all, he had different plans at first. And I don't know why he didn't stick to the plans or why he didn't tell her, hey, we're going to this party. So that was, that's always weird to me when they show up and have like one weird plan to go with, like the guy with the boots. And the guy was like, hey, I'm going to show up. I'm going to take you to go get boots. But he wanted to come in the house first. Stuff like that. I don't know. Hey, I just made some cookies, but I got chocolate on my shirt. So I'm just going to change real fast. Right, I'll be right out. All right. You can try one of my cookies. They're so good. Did you make them? Yeah, I made it myself. Alright, I eat one. I like chocolate chips. It's nice. Cookies are good munchies. You can't tell me your parents are rich. What do they do for a living? Hey! What? That's another thing I want to talk about is the house. That's a really nice setup. I think this one, I, I want to rate this setup. I think this one is one of the best setups because you come right in and there's a table right there in front of the TV. It's not as interviewee because there's some setups where it's very clearly an interview like very clearly a setup so i think this one is one of the better ones you have a seat right over there yeah. good how are you what's happening good hands up where i can see what's going on what's you tell me what's going on you a dad or something what are you doing here i'm david how you doing david, i'm chris nice to see you how's everything yeah. Yeah. chilling birthday party so the girl here was going to go with you to the birthday party. Who are you? I'll get to that in a minute. All right. So what are you doing in this house? <laughs> I asked the girl, did she want to go to the birthday party? Who were you here to pick up? What See, they never talk about that. So I don't know if they actually did talk about going to a birthday party or not. But I don't remember. Because I, I think I have, I might have watched the chat logs like a while ago. I don't know. It's been a while ago. I've, I've, I've. I, I've dabbled. I haven't diving, divin, dove in <laughs> into. <laughs> I haven't dove into TCAP like I say I have, but I'm I'm still kind of on the outside. The date's name for the party. There was a time I said I would leave it behind, and here I am. B. B. And how old is B? I don't know. He didn't really tell me. 
I need you to keep your hands up where I can see them. Don't be scared, dude. I'm just got, I just got a cigarette. Don't be scared, dude. Are you? I'm are you? not scared. You seem like law enforcement. So, there's a lot of the cuts. I'm curious what's kept in. Because they cut out a lot of the, uh, since this is the raw tapes, the, you know, the, the, do it raw, the do it raw, no rubber tapes. There's, uh, they're missing some of the, uh, you know, Chris's, you know, fucking narrating and shit. So, it's interesting seeing all that. I happen to know law enforcement you when I see You do law enforcement, them. yeah. I happen to know, I happen to know law enforcement when I see them. You do. So you're an expert in this. See, they, they cut that out before. I happen to know law enforcement when I see it. Versus in the actual ones, he says, I happen to know law enforcement. And I'm curious why they cut that out, too. I mean, I guess they wanted to make him see like he was trying to be a smart ass. And he was just saying, I happen to know law enforcement when I see it, when he's wrong in this case anyway. No, no, I'm just saying, you you come off as law enforcement. Really? So You know how you come off? How's that? Somebody who's very nervous. Somebody who came over here to have sex with a 14-year-old girl. 14-year-old? <laughs> how old are you? I? I'm 21. 21. Do you see an issue with a 21-year-old coming over to visit a 14-year-old? I didn't really know she was 14. She told you. We were in a role-playing chat room. Have you ever given? Or now, I'm also going to rate. I'm also going to rate the excuse, <laughs> the role-playing chat room, one of the most creative excuses on this show. Role-playing chat room, dude. <laughs> so that's a good one. Got head. Do you need a teacher? Are you sexy naked? Uh. Have you ever played with yourself? You gonna put my in your mouth because uh, I like, I like that I'll teach Not you getting gross. and you're trying to say I'm trying to say it makes it look like yeah you came here I didn't come here I can't pick her up have sex with an underaged girl we were in a role playing chat room dude and what role were you playing exactly here that's, people play roles man and Tom never asked role -play. yeah but that's a weird fucking role to play anyway that like that doesn't that doesn't I, I guess it would legally absolve you well, that's a weird fucking role to play anyway. Hey, you're underage. Let me teach you some shit. That's gross. I mean, people just talk. Watch porno. And? You got porno. I'm an adult. Yes, but the girl you were talking to was not. Well, I didn't know that, dude. And your poor sister's waiting outside with two babies in the car? Yeah. So because you had to come over here and have sex with a 14 year old. I'm not. I didn't come over here and have sex. You, why would you put that sister of yours? I didn't in come that over position? here to have sex. I come over here to get the girl and go to the party. My God, dude. <laughs> Is this, is this some kind of hold up, man? You got a warrant? Cause I mean, this is kind of funny. Girl, I don't want to. <laughs> the cuts are kind of funny. Come and if you got a problem, a warrant. What are you? Is that right now? I'm saying, man, you don't got no cause to hold me. I'm, I got no problem sitting here to talk to you. Right. Okay. Who are you? I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and okay. we're doing a story. You do on look kind of familiar. Who tried to meet kids another one on the internet? Hey man, I don't want. I don't want to. Um, I don't remember him saying the whole "you do look familiar," but I guess he said that while he was doing it. So they might have done another take, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I remember. I don't remember him saying that "you do look familiar" in the actual episode. So I think there was a take there. Be on, on a I remember him saying, "Now he puts on some sort of disguise." <laughs> you filming? We are filming. I don't want to. You feel me? We are filming. I'm news, dog. Well, it's a little late for that, dog. Now, if there's anything else you want to tell me. All I got to say is, ain't no, nothing going on here, dude. <laughs> nothing funny going on here. Nothing funny going on. No. The girl, if the girl's really 14, then I got to move. But. She told you she was 14. See, we were in a role-playing chat room, dude. You know how many times I hear that? No, I was in a role-playing chat room, dude. You got the um, phone records? You got that? Taped conversations? Hmm. Interesting that he brings that up. You have that? You know, you're not really in that, uh much of a strong now that was a good point to bring up that he, they didn't have any uh they didn't have any whatever they're called oh goodness what are they called uh sorry i was just interrupted so that's why there was a cut but uh they didn't they don't have any phone records or you know they they talked a lot about what they said they were you know they talked a lot about you know hmm Chris read off what he was saying, but Chris didn't read off what he was planning on doing. So they might have talked about taking her to the party. So interesting. They, they they might have overblown this one because the guy that they're catching, and I'm playing devil's advocate here. I, I really am. 
But they might have overblown this one because the guy they're catching is a career criminal. David Schumacher, a role-playing chat room predator, is a career criminal. Him and his family have been caught, like, have been in trouble with the law a lot of times. And so it seems like they're probably trying to play up the drama of the people you meet online. I know that, man. Listen, am I being held up here? You're not being held up. You're free to walk out that same door you walked in. Do y'all want to interview? Okay, how y'all doing? Okay. Am you I can gonna... walk out that door anytime you want. Am I going to be on... Is the cops out there? I can't speak to that. How y'all doing? NBC? NBC. NBC. <laughs> and you're Chris <laughs> Hansen. All right, Dateline listen. NBC. Let me, let me, let me explain something. I just love how awkward that was. <laughs> For a second here. I, I don't know what kind of... um. What kind of um, oh, rap y'all got rap on, got. on people, but yeah. maybe y'all can get the whole story because this girl is in a role playing chat room and if she wants to play like she's 14, hey, whatever. But on the phone, the girl told me something different. See, and they, I don't remember ever really hearing anything about the phone conversation, but I've also never heard the phone conversation either. So that's one, that's one thing I would really like to look into maybe one day. I don't know. Really? So, I mean. And you expect me to believe that? Yeah, you don't gotta believe it. You don't got to. I'm not trying to convince you or these cameramen or anybody else. Who are you trying to convince? Nobody, buddy. Yourself? Is the police out there? Let me know. Again, I, I'm just doing a story. <laughs> Whose house is this? Can I smoke with you? No, right you now? can't smoke with you. I didn't think so. You can smoke outside. All right, dude. Whatever. That too. I never noticed he left out the front door. <laughs> I've never noticed that. Run into the car. Yeah. Move. No. What do you know? Dog, chill, man. Interesting. Chill, dog. Come on now. You're told to get on the ground. You get on the ground. Got on the ground. No, you didn't. All right, hey, check me out, officer. Yep, there's a sister in the background. Let's see if I can catch it. Hey, Christina, pick my cigarettes up right here. Dude, this is a misunderstanding. This is not a misunderstanding. You're going to jail. Hmm, never mind. <laughs> oh, there she is. I don't know anything about the sister. A lot of people are real investigative <laughs> with the TCAP community. I don't know anything about this about his sister. But yeah, there she goes, getting up. <laughs> Ma'am. 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 Do you have anything else in here in the car? No. What's going on? Is this your brother? Oh, but that's a shot of him getting up off the ground over there. Yeah. We brought him here so he could have sex with a 13 year old. 13? Yes. 13? He wasn't supposed to have anything else in the car. With her. She was just supposed Answer to go out with us. Answer my question. Oh, but yeah, see? She's supposed to go out with us. So. The plan was to take her to a birthday party, not to have sex with. Well, obviously, again, they're they're probably going to have sex anyway, which is disgusting. But right now, the sister is convinced. Like the plan is there to take her to the thing, to the party, and then also she didn't know the age. She either knew the age and didn't care, or she didn't know the age. The thirteen sounded a little, a little fake. Let's hear that one more time. Let's see if I can catch it one more time. What's your brother? Yeah. We brought him here so he could have sex with a 13 year old. 13? Yes. Hey, he wasn't Does supposed he have to have anything else in the car. With her. She... See? Like, I don't I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the sister. She's supposed Answer to Answer my with question. Us. Does he have anything? Did he drop anything in the car? Did you get back in the car. Put your child back in the car seat. Put your child back in the car seat. You get back in the car. I got two words for NBC. <laughs> Role playing chat room, all right, y'all? Cause man, the girl <laughs> I'm counting wrong. It was role playing. Hey, NBC, two words: role playing chat room, dude. Cause the girl was role playing, man. Ask the girl what she said on the phone. No, I'm, I'm, I just like to play like I'm young. I'm not really. Y'all thought y'all was gonna get some green? No. No, I was just, yeah, I was just searching. What's that for your, um, for your pedophile thing? Yeah. Good, cause when I, cause when I get found not guilty, I'm sue somebody. And then there's the threat in the suit. There's a lot. There's still. There's such a blueprint on this show. A lot of threat in the suit and oh, am I on TV? Hiding the face and lying and you know, role playing chat room is, is one of the farthest off the off the script that one of these guys have ever done. 
but yeah, I, I don't know. Dude, this is a bum rap, man. Bum rap. Does it look like I need to get 14 year old girls? I'm not, I'm not guilty, man. I, do I look like I need 14 year old girls? I don't need 14 year old girls, dude. I got all kind of girls. He told me she was 17. There. She told me he was, she told me he was, he told me she was 17. Can't get it out. I haven't even laid eyes on the girl. If I knew that she was 13, I wouldn't even picked her up. But like the way she's talking too, like you can hear the family has a bit of a history. David, you got something, bro. I'm gonna open it up. I have no problem with you, okay? Yeah, I'm cool, man. Okay, so you be cool and I'm cool, all right? All right. NBC again. <laughs> How y'all doing, NBC? Not a lot of Chris in this one. This is the raw taste, so it's, it's yeah. Not a lot of Chris. I don't know. Tell me how you guys feel about me watching the raw tapes versus watching the uh, watching the raw tapes versus watching the non raw tapes, the actual edited stuff. All right, that's enough. <sighs> As stated, what a character, right? Want to see a picture from now? This is apparently from 2020 where he got caught trying to steal a car. So I would say, you know, old habits die hard or a career criminal does career criminal stuff. But uh, let's hope maybe his predator days are over. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.